First day of spring ball is in the books for the Texas A&M Aggies, and we catch up with Jake Spavadol, our quarterbacks coach here on 12th Man TV. And it, no pads, uh, day number one. You got your quarterbacks out here throwing. How much can you walk away from with this afternoon? You know, the thing is, is that the, it's already year two of this offense, so it's already pretty much installed. So the main thing is uh, that I was impressed with was the rhythm of the practice because, you know, everybody knew they were familiar with the practices and how they went. So the main thing that you can look at is that it went smooth and we got the kids running around. First impression of Johnny Manziel when you see him in this environment. You know, the, it's, the kid loves to compete. And the thing that I like about it is that he knows what he's doing and he's already in year two of the offense, so he's already evolved. So you don't have to go through those year one mistakes anymore. So you can already move on to the things that he's already, that he's already seen and already had experiences with. So, you know, the thing that is about him is that he's getting better every day, which is a scary thing. Mm -hmm. It seemed like since he won the Heisman Trophy, people just want to talk about what he's doing, where he's at. He's taking online classes. Do you think spring football might be a little bit of a sanctuary for him where he can just focus on what matters? No, no question about it. You know, he's uh, he's happy to get back out here and be around the teammates and, you know, pretty much get away from everybody. You know, this is the his time and his area where he can, you know, build those relationships farther with the players because when he's off the field, there's too much distractions going on. And this is the time where he can build his relationships with the players, especially the new guys. Well, obviously, Johnny's not the only guy you're working with here. Matt Jokel is not very important to what's happening, and Matt Davis is too. I'll kind of separate them here. First right. impressions of Matt Jokel. So far, you know, he operates. He knows he's a very intelligent kid. He knows what he's doing. And that, that's the thing that I give credit, uh, credit to Cliff Kingsbury for is because these quarterbacks already know what they're doing. It's kind of like you're getting, like, the keys handed to you of a Cadillac, you know, because it, it's already installed, and I don't have to go through that process with them, which, you know, from first day, they have both operated. Matt Davis and Matt Jokel both operated very well, you know, and I'm very pleased with how it all went down. Mm -hmm. And then Matt Davis, I mean, he been around, but, uh, I mean, I, I, and – there's always that depth chart concern coming out of spring ball. Right. Where do you put Matt Davis, and is it really important mm -hmm. where you place guys at this moment? You know, right now he's running with the twos as long, along with Jokel. So, mm -hmm. you know, the thing is is that I haven't seen much tape on him, so this is kind of the first experience I had watching him throw and get through the – you know, through through practice and, and see him operate in certain situations. But, you know, you, you watch a lot of tape of Johnny and you know how he can play and how you can actually focus on the backups and see how they operate. So I expect a good competition out of both of them throughout this spring. And finally, you guys will go Tuesday, then you'll put on pads Thursday, then it's a little bit of a hiatus for spring break. You'll, <laughs> you'll, you won't see them for 10 days, essentially, at least on the practice field. Right. But what do you want to see in the first three days that you can put on tape and evaluate during that break? You know, it's actually a really good plan. You know, I like the idea of just getting the first day, uh, the first three days of install because, you know, the first two days you're not in pads. So there's only so much you can do. So we'll, we'll blow it out with the scrimmage on Thursday. And once we have those three days of the install in, you can give them a, a week off and they can come back and we can get down to work. All right. We certainly appreciate the time. Good to have you on these practice fields finally. Hey, uh, excited to be here. Appreciate <laughs> it. Jake Spavadol right here on 12th Man TV.